Hello and welcome everyone to the Balm Meditation Group. And it's Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific and 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Our meditation today is focused on Principle 7. Don't set a boundary unless you're determined to stick to it. And we'll be building the capacity for healthy selfishness by focusing on ourselves and letting go of our expectations of others. Um, I'm Celeste Mendelssohn, and I'll be guiding the meditation today. I am a bomb coach and a family member with loved ones with use disorders. And I've been a member of the al Fellowship also for about 24 years. I'm also a yoga therapist, and I use yoga therapy, breathing, and movement, along with meditation, to help people heal emotionally as well as um, work on physical disease or trauma in the mind and the body and the spirit. And so I often relate to physical and emotional sensations in a very similar way. Today, we're going to do a meditation to help us focus on ourselves, um, as I said. So that's like, say what you mean, mean what you say, and don't say it mean. Um, and we're going to begin by settling in. Just kind of getting comfortable. You can be sitting in a chair. You can have your feet up or on the floor. Um, you can recline or you can lie down. You can be in, on the floor, on the couch, in your bed, whatever feels best for you right now and gives you a sense of ease and comfort. And then when you get settled, when you get adjusted where you are, just take a moment and notice if there's any place that doesn't feel quite comfortable um, and spend a little time resolving that for yourself. Sometimes um, we get into a position and we think, oh, we'll be fine, but we've got our legs crossed or our arms in a slightly funny position or our shoulders aren't relaxed. And then we find later on that we've got clothes bunched up underneath us. And so we have to, we're moving around and scooting around and it's, it feels restless and um, it can make us a little irritable too. So just notice right now if there's anything that you need to change and go ahead and make that change. Um, and now take a long, slow, deep breath in. Noticing that sensation of your inhale, the coolness as the breath enters the nostrils. Notice as it swirls through the sinuses down and into the throat, expanding into the chest. And notice the sensation in the belly as it expands with the last bit of air you take in. And then hold that breath in for just a moment, being aware of the sensation of fullness. And when you're ready, slowly begin to exhale, being aware of the release of the belly and the chest as your body pushes the air up and out. And noticing that sense of soft warmth in the front of the nostrils as the last bit of air moves out from your nose. And then once again, take that long, slow, deep breath in. Noticing the sensations of the breath moving in your body. Hold the breath in for a moment and then slowly begin to let it go until the last little bit of air moves out of your nose. And this time when you inhale, as you inhale, lift your arms up over your head and stretch all the way from your hips up through your rib cage and your shoulders, your arms, hands, and fingers. And hold this position for a moment as you hold the breath, and then slowly, slowly, slowly release your arms and your hands back down to your sides or into your lap as you exhale. And then one more time. Inhale as you lift up through your hips and the rib cage and the shoulders, the hands and the arms. The fingertips hold the breath as you continue to stretch upward, maybe looking up as well. And then sigh the breath out as you release your arms back down. Now, 
turn over the work of breathing to your body as you begin to open your mind to the intention of our meditation today, focusing on ourselves and letting go of expectations for others. Sometimes we hold a dialogue in our own heads that we wouldn't share with anyone else under any circumstances. But the fact that we say these things internally creates a sort of unconscious focus or intention that would be okay if our words were kind and filled with positive, actionable ideas, but often they're not. Instead, we say things like, well, that was stupid. Why did he do that? Or I'm such a chicken. If I could just man up, I'd tell her exactly what I think. And if we say those things, those negative things enough, when those conversations in our own heads become like broken records playing over and over, but getting us nowhere. Um, and we can also replay hurtful situations in our heads the same way. You know, like, boy, he really hurt me. And he came in loaded and started yelling at me in front of the kids. And I was so embarrassed. And when I replay this type of negative thought pattern over and over, we think we're blowing off steam. But in reality, we're just stoking the fire. So tonight, we're going to create a new intention and a new affirmation that you can use to replace whatever negative script may be going on for you. So that when you catch yourself in replay mode, you can shift your focus to something positive. In this way, when you do need to set a, a boundary or have a bomb conversation, you'll be easily able to maintain the positive loving attitude you want instead of reacting to negative thoughts that have been running around in your head. And so for this practice today, our affirmation will be, I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I can express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I can express my needs with conviction and kindness. So as you continue to relax, close your eyes, begin to repeat this affirmation to yourself. I am following my own heart my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. When you say affirmations over and over, your mind starts to believe them, and your body begins to absorb them, and your heart begins to express them. I'm following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. 
I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. Those intentions, those affirmations, motivated by the union of the body, mind, and spirit acting in concert, become manifest in your actions. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. Continue repeating the intention silently to yourself as you allow your body to remain relaxed and at ease for the next few minutes. Now I'll watch the time and when you hear the chime, I'll guide you back with your breath. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. As you repeat this mantra, this intention to yourself, Settle into your body and notice the sensations that come with the words. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own needs, my own intuitions. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. Continuing to repeat this intention to yourself. 
I am following my own heart, my own intuition. I express my needs with conviction and kindness. Take a deep breath in and gently let that breath go. Taking in another deep breath and releasing that breath too. And allow yourself to gradually become more aware of the world around you, of the sounds, the sense of space surrounding you, the touch of the air on your skin, the light through your eyelids. And as you shift your awareness more into your senses, begin to move your body slowly and with care, stretching out as long as you can, maybe rolling up into a little ball, Moving your head from side to side, forward and back, rolling your shoulders and moving in any way that feels comfortable for you right now. And on your next deep inhale, bring your focus back to the present moment and exhale that breath out as you let it go, releasing your intention into the universe. And begin to visualize all the balmers now who you share this meditation space with, both today and on other days. Others who know and understand the challenges that we all face, recognizing that together we are strong, and together we can become our best selves as we implement the tools for change in our lives and in the lives of those that we love. And when you feel ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Would anyone like to share what this meditation experience brought up for you or anything else? Thank you for joining this Principle 7 meditation today. Next week, we'll be meditating on Principle 8. Getting support will greatly enhance your recovery. And we'll be working with willingness to ask for help and then breathing into vulnerability. The recording of today's meditation will be available in the library within 48 hours. Goodbye, everybody.